you looking for more beer room in your RV? We got the answer. Hey guys, it's Izzy from Endless RV and the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below. Make sure to hit that notification bell. And if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. And make sure you stay to the end, okay, for some bloopers and our final review of this freezer. So what are one of the biggest complaints that RVers have? It's not having enough freezer or refrigerator space. And us, like other RVers, have fallen victim to this. In an attempt to alleviate that, we have gone out and purchased a portable RV refrigerator freezer. This is the second video regarding our basement freezer setup. The first one was uh, using the basement sliding tray where we installed this freezer. We are gonna link that video up above. In this video, we are gonna cover the actual freezer that we bought, how much it costs, the specs, and ultimately how it performs. All right, so we purchased, and I hope I'm saying this right, <laughs> it's the Osranvik uh, portable freezer refrigerator. It is model number APR25D. It's a 26 quart freezer refrigerator. So this will run on 12 volt DC or 110 volt AC. It comes with the plugs for both, okay? It has a temperature range of negative four degrees Fahrenheit up to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Here are some of the other specs, okay? 26 quarts, like I mentioned before, it weighs 25.4 pounds. The uh, specs on size, it's 25.2 by 15.4 by 16.3 inches. So here is the disclaimer, guys. Uh, you know we get a lot of products. We bought this product, okay? And we bought it because of the reviews. With that being said, this unboxing is actually our second freezer. The first one was damaged shipping. There was a dent in like the aluminum outside uh, shell. Customer service was excellent. Uh, we emailed the company uh, via uh, Amazon. No questions asked. They actually sent us a second freezer. This is what we're going to box now. So let's do that right now, okay? So it comes nicely packaged. Now it does come ship FedEx. Depending on how your FedEx driver is, you, you may get dented also, okay? Because like I said, it is in an aluminum uh, outer casing, which uh, can dent easily. If you want to look inside, I'm going to take the top off, okay? There is the main unit. That is the uh, meat and potatoes. Let us get this out. Well, let me inspect this one. And I don't believe this one's dented. So this is good. When the first one we got, it had a big dent right over here. Mm -hmm. All right, so what comes with the unit, okay? You have the freezer itself. Now, if you want to look at this freezer, a couple of reasons why we chose this. A, uh, this fit our basement perfectly, right? So we couldn't go much bigger than this. This was the perfect fit. Second thing, okay? It's 26 quart, it has an LED uh, interior lighting, which is nice. It has this nice chain to hold the top. Also, it's a DC and AC, which we really liked. We liked the temperature range, like we, we mentioned uh, before, negative four up to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. It also has different modes. It has an economy mode and it has a max mode, right? So the, the max mode will use uh, the maximum energy, which is 45 watts, to get this thing from like zero to 100 or 100 to zero as quickly as possible, right? The eco mode uh, uses less energy uh, and it's better when once it, everything's cold, you put it in eco mode, it'll conserve uh, the energy that this uses. There's one other key feature that's pretty awesome with this. If you have food in it that's frozen, right? And for some reason your power goes out, or you can't use power. The company claims they've done a test, independent test, and the food inside, the temperature inside stayed at under 32 degrees for 10 hours uh, when not plugged in, and that's pretty awesome. Finally, there's side handles on here that you can lift this, so it's very portable, right? So what we plan on doing is that when we go down, hopefully to Tampa in January, this will be in the back of our truck as we go down, okay? It comes with uh, several different cords. Here is your DC cord. I believe it's 11 feet of DC, okay? And this will allow you to plug into the 12 volt of your car. And then it comes with the AC adapter, which is uh, your 110 uh, wall outlet, which is actually what we're going to be using for the test today.
And the most important reason why we chose this uh, freezer refrigerator is because it has a compressor, right? And that's gonna allow it to cool very quickly, okay? So let's go through it, right? It's plugged in on our 110 outlet, okay? To turn this on, you gotta push and hold the power button for three seconds. There it goes, it's on. You then, you have several options. Like I said, you could use a uh, max or eco mode. Max will cool this as quickly as it can, okay? There's also uh, some battery protection savings. You have uh, low, medium, high. I believe high is the uh, maximum protection for your battery so you don't drain your battery. That's all in the manual. I'm not gonna go over that right now. But what I'm gonna do is we actually have a thermometer that we put inside here, okay? Right now it's 73 degrees. And what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, set the temperature on the unit to Let's set it down. We're gonna put it, it's hard to see because of the light here, but we're gonna put it to negative four, okay? Yeah, the sunlight. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that or not. Negative four and it's good to go. Right now, this says it's 67 degrees. One other thing I wanna point out, which I failed to mention before, there's actually a USB uh, charging cable in here. I don't know where you really use that. Maybe if you're out on camp and you have this freezer out, you can plug in your, your iPhone to that and charge it if you want so guys uh, we did test this it take in 45 minutes it went from uh, the 67 degrees display to 8 degrees on the actual uh, unit itself so I don't know if I mentioned this before what's pretty cool about this is that there's actually two compartments right you have uh, a compartment here on the right that's a little higher and if you have the freezer set to some you know to a freezing temperature below 32 degrees if you put things up on this top compartment they won't freeze all right, so here's the reality, guys. We didn't buy this for beer. We actually bought it for dog food. <laughs> so we're gonna do uh, two tests, okay? We are going to see how many 20 ounce, I'm sorry, 16.9 ounce bottles of water we can fit in here, and then how much dog food we can fit in here. We are actually gonna stay quiet because we have some visitors behind us. I don't know if you can see that. There's they, some fawns. They camo pretty well, and they, they often visit us. Yeah, we have, there's two or three little fawns. One's watching. I don't want to. I don't want to bother them, but. There they go. Yeah. Hopefully you caught that on camera. Yeah, some now they're not running. Yeah. Let's start filling this thing up, okay? So we got one, two. This one's leaking a little. Three, ten. A lot of beer guys okay so we ran out of water <laughs> we have 18 19 20 can easily fit it fit uh, just standing and then you could probably fit more sitting up on top all right so that will fit pretty comfortably I don't know if I stacked them another way if it would fit more but at least 20 bottles of water in here you can fit with no problem okay and the real reason why we bought this is because of the dogs right so they eat a, a raw diet and this is like what it looks like they look like little burgers, but they actually like chicken and bone and fruit, whatever. Anyway, they eat a lot, okay? So each one of these boxes holds 36 patties. For humans, you could transfer this or translate this to hamburgers, 36 right? 36 burgers. Okay, so we're gonna see how many we can fit in here, okay? These are six in each. Six. That's a lot of burgers. Yeah, that's a lot. All right. If you're eating that many burgers, you may be taking a trip to the emergency room. Um, but you can see that this fits a lot. Just keep in mind, okay, uh, this company actually makes bigger ones. They make, uh, I know, a 50-something, maybe even a 60. Uh, we'll put them in the, everything in the links below. Again, we got the 26 quart because this is what was convenient for us, okay? So we have been using our dented model uh, probably for what, like three weeks now? Uh -huh. Uh, we actually took it on a 15 mi 1500 mile trip from Jersey to Tennessee, Tennessee back. We had it loaded, it worked flawlessly. Always cold, like not frozen, but like rock solid frozen, which is awesome. So we're really happy with it. Hopefully it will hold up more time that we use it, okay? If you know anybody that is looking for a portable freezer to expand their storage space on their RV, feel free to share this video with them. We are going to put uh, our Amazon affiliate link below. If you're looking to purchase this freezer, we recommend it. It's awesome. We paid for it. This wasn't a gift. But if you're going to purchase it, feel free to use that link below. Finally, is anybody using a different freezer out there or some kind of different setup? Put it in the comments below. 
What are you using? What did you think of this video? Would a portable freezer be something that you would consider? Finally, to the left of us, we're gonna put our RV DIY, as well as our RV Essential Upgrades playlist. And for myself, MJ, who's on the camera, the three deer in the forest behind <laughs> us, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road. Actually put this freezer in our basement using a freezer tray. So what's one of the biggest, no, we did that already, right? One of the biggest complaints? <laughs> did we do that? Okay, so in this video, we are gonna cover what freezer we actually purchased, the specs of it, uh, and how much it weighs.